everybody, my name is Gene. I'm a graphic designer and illustrator. I've been working in the business for about 15 years. And today we're going to involve your kids in their own birthday party. And the way that we're going to do that is everybody knows Pin the Tail on the Donkey. And we're going to have them help us make some of the props for Pin the Tail on the Donkey. Let's jump right in and get started. All right, so let's say that you are uh, having a birthday party and you want to do your own Pin the Tail on the Donkey. So you get a large, large piece of paper. Um, bigger than this one here, and you're going to draw your donkey. So you'll draw your donkey. Whatever. We got our donkey here. And, and you draw him without a tail. Okay, but this would be on a super huge piece of paper, like something that's, um, you know, like 24 by 36. So you draw your donkey. Now take a, a look at the internet and get a good picture of a donkey so you make it look right. Now, uh, one of the easiest ways to get the tail pinned on the donkey is to take a normal size construction paper like this one and turn it lengthwise and then just draw uh, a couple of lines. Probably, I would say, if you want to use a, a, some sort of measuring device, a ruler or so forth, uh, maybe two, three inches apart because you want to make these uh, tails a little bit thicker because you're going to be giving them to kids or uh, you know, adults, there's no reason adults can't play pin the tail on a donkey. And you're just going to do a rectangle, right? And you do a bunch of them. But you want to give them a little distance because the end of the tail is going to be a lot wider. So we do a bunch of rectangles. And then you want to do a really long oval. But instead of just leaving it an oval, you're going to take the front side and dip it in a little bit. You see here? So you can make it like a tear shape. Bam! There's the tail. Okay, you do that five, six, seven, eight times, and you can even do it in the opposite direction if you don't want to waste paper, like I don't like to waste paper. So you can do uh, a tail this way, and it looks kind of like a yin yang, right? And then you got a tail this way, and then you're not wasting paper. You got two tails right, right after each other. Okay, and come right in, do the little cutout. And watch how easy it is to cut out two. Bam. Now I'm just cutting one out here, but this one is mostly cut out already. So I come in here, come down the center, and go around the side. Bam. Got one cut out. This one's already mostly cut out. Look at how fast that is. Two donkey tails. And then what you're going to do is you can take a thumbtack or you can grab one of these little brass fasteners and go ahead. I would recommend you use a brass fastener because it's still got a pointy edge but it's not quite as sharp as the thumbtack so the kids aren't going to uh, hurt themselves. Just push it straight through and then when you have your donkey, I would recommend you put your donkey on some cork board because this will stick right into cork board. And when you're done and you pull the, the donkey and the tail off, Okay, let's just say this is our donkey tail. Um, so the kids will be pushing it into the cork board. Bam! And then whoever gets closest, you can flip it over and bend the brass fastener back. And then the person who got closest, you can send them home with the donkey and they have their winning donkey tail. There you go. So there you have it. If you have some more advanced kids, like I said, you can, you can have them help draw the entire donkey. But just drawing the tail, you know, it's something that you can do. It's a little bit of fun. Uh, have a, a, you know, make something that's normally a mundane task a little bit more enjoyable. Involve your kids. And uh, it'll be just a, a way better family time for it. So thanks for watching, guys. Get creative. And uh, we'll see you next time.